Good evening greetings from Hinder Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio. So here we have another 2021. This is a Euro Gear Up. And this is in the Rainier White color. Just got it out of the crate today and everything's all assembled. So we thought we'd do a little video. Get you some more 2021 information out there. Of course the sun is coming and going. Going in behind behind the clouds and then coming back out so not perfect video weather but uh, we'll make do we always like to photograph and do videos when it's a little bit overcast cuts down on the shadows and seems to make the camera perform a little bit better but uh, we'll go ahead and make do with this again this is a 2021 this is the Euro gear up and it starts out at the uh, base model Euro gear up configuration at 17549 and then we add to it the Rainier White custom color, uh, which is a metal flake color. And we'll bring the camera in close here in a little bit so you can see the uh, see the different colors. And then it also has the black powertrain added, as well as the undercoating. And that is undercoating on the sidecar, as well as on all three fenders underneath side. And then this unit also has the black uh, gas tank badges. Uh, the white just looks better with the uh, with the black badges rather than the silver. Uh, that's an upcharge to the dealers, but uh, it's way too much of an upcharge. So we just throw those in. We don't even uh, tack those onto the invoice. So we have uh, 17549 for the base model Euro gear up. Plus then we add $1,000 for the Rainier white color. And then we add thousand dollars for the black powertrain and then we add six hundred dollars for the color matched sidecar undercoating and fender undercoating as I mentioned so you're just a shade over twenty thousand and we can work you up and out the door price if you're interested in this unit uh, this unit is available for purchase like I say, it is a 21 model. Uh, 19s through 21s are all same tech spec as far as the engine performance, uh, transmission performance, final drive performance, all those are the same. And they are holding the MSRP for 21 the same as the 2020s, but I have heard rumblings and I would venture to guess that the option cost is going to go up uh, but we'll try to hold that as as steady as possible and the sunlight's kind of giving us a different color anyway so maybe it's good to do a video in the sun you'll see here the black gas tank badges there um, and there's actually a metal flake in this in this paint you see right there and then you'll see the black engine Standard uh, square lights, trapezoidal shaped lights out here on the sidecar. And I've already got a passenger. Good old Ohio stink bug, huh? Brembo front disc brake, Brembo sidecar disc brake, HB on the back, LED driving lights, and then of course on 21 models we're throwing in the LED light package for the headlight as well as all the other lights, your turn signals and your sidecar lights. See there we've swapped out to LED, LED. And then if you look real closely, you can see that is an LED bulb down in there. And then we've done the same on the back. Probably pretty easy to see the one there on the top. For your brake light, your tail light and tag light. And then the light there. And then sidecar lights, we've done the same over here. So it is LED all the way around. 
two year unlimited mileage warranty with the new units. Phenomenal warranty, uh, they stand behind the product. And not only does Ural stand behind the product, but uh, we go above and beyond as a dealer. We really like to stand behind the product. Um, happy customers are always good, so. And if you guys are thinking about a Ural sidecar outfit, uh, these perform very well. Uh, two lane roads, back roads, around town, uh, cross country on two lane roads, um, and off road as well. They will run down the interstate if you need to go down the expressway. Uh, you just want to try to hold your speed down as much as possible. And the reason for holding your speed down is not that the machine won't go faster. Um, you build up too much heat. Uh, it's an air-cooled engine, strictly air-cooled. No oil coolers, no uh, radiators, anything like that. Um, so the, the engine can only dissipate so much heat. So if you continue to run wide open throttle, eventually you'll build up too much heat and then do damage to your engine. So you don't want to do that. They're much more comfortable two-lane roads. I personally have done 672 miles on a Ural on the interstate. I uh, don't recommend it, but that's a long day. Really long day on a sidecar. Uh, fact is, uh, it's been years ago that I did that, and that was went to a, a fellow dealer who was having an event. And we were always getting razzed that uh, you couldn't ride these that far. Uh, you couldn't take them on the interstate. You couldn't do that many miles in a day. You'd have all kinds of problems. So, got up at about 3.30 in the morning, left out in the dark with a passenger in the sidecar, drove all the way up. As soon as we got to the dealer's location, they were getting ready to leave on a ride. So. We went ahead and obliged, put our helmets back on, we went on the ride, left out about, uh, oh, I don't know, it was 4.30, 5 o'clock, something like that, rode all the way back home, came home in the dark. So it's, they're more than capable of doing it. Traveled across country on motorcycles several times, so anything over 300 miles in a day, uh, you, you, you're going to get tired. Uh, it's just the way it is. If you do that day in and day out, rode to Alaska back in 2003, and uh, when you do six to 650 miles every day, uh, day in and day out for three weeks straight, it'll wear you out. So, but back to this unit. Uh, this is, like I say, a 2021. This is the uh, brand new, the latest and greatest. Latest and greatest on 21s is identical to the uh, mid-year and later 2020s. Um, the changes that they made, running changes, I'll try to recall all of them from memory um, over the since the 2000, original 2019s. Uh, this is now a cast bracket here. Uh, same thing on the rear. We have a uh, cast bracket back here. This unit, this is a now cast. Uh, that was upgraded. Another small change they made is they changed the uh, clutch cable and the clutch actuating arm. Uh, that is now cast. They redid some things on the back of the tranny, uh, the casting of the tranny, back cover plate, meaning this, this plate here. Redid that. Uh, the kicker is different. Of course, on the black engine, it's now black. Uh, it's got a thread on deal here for the kick. And then part number stamp and all that good stuff. Uh, the two-wheel drive engagement rod was changed some time back. Had a little bit different setup here. Used to be a bolt going through. It's now it's double-ended heim joint. And I don't remember whether that was done prior to 19 or when that exactly that one was done. Uh, the vent. This is now from the factory this way. Standard vent here. Um, we have zip tied onto the uh, tangs on the front or on the swing arm. And then there's a vent up in behind the side cover. Different logo to oil filter there you see. And then let's see, I did mention on my other video with the 2021 CT, 2021 gear up's the same way. 
We have a little bit different of a, a sketching plate here around the lock. Maybe a different lock. It is a different lock because they did go with the four clock mid-year 20. Change that. It does have a four clock on it. Those two are key to like. Uh, gas cap is, has a different key. Trunk lock has a different key. And if you should you have, choose to order one with the toolbox tank and the gas tank, uh, that would have its own separate keys as well. Of course, uh, a couple years ago, they went to the color matched undercoating. Worked out very well. The black undercoating used to fade. It would turn gray over time. Then it looked ugly. Um, so we have the uh, color matched undercoating. So those are some uh, minor running changes. Uh, this changed, oh, uh, these changed mid-year 20. I have some 20s that uh, have the old style, has a bolt, uh, two bolts go in. One bolt goes in from each end. Uh, this is a rod all the way through with two nuts. Uh, so that's different. But as far as mechanicals go, uh, if you're in the market and you're wanting to buy a new one, uh, don't be hesitant to buy a Leftover 2020. shouldn't even call them Leftovers because they're identical to the 20s. It's the same engine. It's the same transmission. Um, you know, I've got some 20s that were manufactured in June, I believe. May or June, I don't remember which, uh, that are identical to this. Uh, there are absolutely no differences whatsoever. Spec of the bike. And again, you can see the undercoating even under the fender there, uh, color matched. The white is sprayed over. Very good setup. Sack shocks. Nippon Denso 55 amp, 770 watt alternator. Uh, note about the alternator the RPM on this boxer engine is a lower RPM. At low RPM, the alternator doesn't always put out enough juice, so you do have to increase your RPM. So if you do a bunch of short trips, you want to make sure at some point in time you run it at a higher speed, higher engine speed as you're traveling around, um, say in a lower gear in town. Uh, that way you're turning more RPMs, gives you more juice, keeps your battery charged if you don't keep them on a battery tender. Uh, it's just a few little notes there. The tubo steering damper. Of course, you see I haven't put the battery in this unit yet. Waiting on it to fully charge up. Prepped out some batteries this morning and just waiting on them to fully charge before we install. Black powder coated frame, black powder coated engine, gearbox, final drive. What else am I missing as far as running changes? Uh, at some point in time, this changed. I don't remember exactly when they did, uh, but this is different here. So that was changed. Still 750 cc engine, 43 horsepower or so. I don't know, have a dyno tested one, no real reason to dyno test one. And underneath the tonneau cover, you have the standard uh, seating compartment, switch, power outlet, all that good stuff. So, won't make the video too much longer, but I uh, did want to get this out there. Uh, like I say, sorry for the sunlight. Uh, you guys may like it in the sun, you may not like it in the sun, um, but it does, it, they look better when it's overcast, and plus it keeps my shadow out. So. If you haven't done so already, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the bell so you get notified when we throw out new videos. Uh, definitely uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really appreciate you watching. And once again, whoever sent the Omaha steaks in, uh, thanks a million. Uh, they just came in today. FedEx guy dropped them off while I was assembling this bike. So I uh, don't know who it was. I'm sure it was one of our subscribers, but... Uh, Looked like there were some, uh, my goodness, there were some filet mignons, there were some ribeyes, oh shoot, there was even some uh, edamame in there, I think there were some stuffed uh, potatoes, I don't know, the freezer's full of stuff, so, hey, maybe we'll have a Euro cookout or something once all this stuff passes, um, but uh, we really appreciate whoever sent that in, uh, thanks again, uh, Dave and I really appreciate it, so, Heindel Motorcycle Sales, Eaton, Ohio, 
As always, thanks for watching.